Time Zone is a multi-disc graphical adventure game written and directed by Roberta Williams for the Apple II. Developed in 1981 and released in 1982 by Online Systems later Sierra Entertainment, the game was shipped with six double-sided floppy disks and contained 1,500 areas screens to explore along with 39 scenarios to solve. Produced at a time when most games rarely took up more than one side of a floppy, Time Zone is one of the very first games of this magnitude ever released for home computer systems. Topic. Gameplay Time Zone allows players to travel through time and across the globe solving puzzles while meeting famous historical figures such as Benjamin Franklin, Cleopatra, and Julius Caesar. The game has static pictures and a text parser that understands two-word commands. Topic. Development. The game used the company's existing high-res adventures engine. Roberta Williams was the designer and writer, a process that took six months, and about ten other people. The first example of the modern video game development model in which programmers, artists, and designers are separate people in a team larger than a few people. Worked on the game for a year. Each of the more than 1,300 locations had its own artwork. The company hoped to release Time Zone before Christmas 1981, but did not do so until March 1982. Because of the game's difficulty, Sierra offered a telephone helpline that players could call for hints. Reception Byte wrote, the Guinness Book of World Records must be getting ready for a computer game category, if time zone is any indication of things to come. Without a doubt, it is the longest adventure game to date." The game received a Certificate of Merit in the category of Best Computer Adventure. At the fourth annual Archie Awards, Williams' brother-in-law and fellow employee, John, later said, It frankly wasn't that good. It sold poorly, its original retail price of $99 $251 today may make Time Zone the most expensive computer game in history after inflation. The game was reissued the year of its release as part of the short-lived Sierra Ventures line. <laughs>